Hey guys, this is Amara Kanu and you're watching Pulse TV. When I was you, all I get is wild there was a certain certain point it's just um because i've been married to someone who is into fitness and health anyways for a long time i've developed some lifestyle habits that i used to take care of myself my kids other ladies around me so i just decided to pen, pen it down and help others with it three years ago uh, when i uh I went through a difficult time in my life. My husband had his second open heart surgery and coming back from that uh, to get feel better myself, I had to be mentally okay and exercise not just for looking fit and healthy, um, it helps your well-being as well. So if you're okay up here, you can help everyone or anyone around you. So um, soon as I learned a lot of lessons from that, I decided to work on keeping my mental well-being fit. The way I look at it, um, everything in moderation. So if children, they want sweet things, they have their set time for sweet things. But on a general level, I try to keep healthy things at the house, in the cupboard. So when they are hungry and they want a snack, they have something that is not too savory uh, for snacking on. Um, because I preach it every day and actually leave it. So when I go to the shops, they know not to look at X, Y, Z, that is too, too sweet. And if um, they, learn that way and they grow up their taste buds now become what it is so they're used to picking the right things as well so it's a lifestyle thing because we're very busy my kids also play football my daughter plays tennis and i'm busy training other ladies we tend to eat on the go <laughs> a lot of eating on the go so we have to have snacks that are ready ready to go so we spend a lot of uh, sundays preparing a lot of meals and because uh, our Nigerian food that's what our taste buds are really really used to it takes time to prepare those from scratch so we prepare a lot of food if you see me on Sundays after our football we're just preparing food so we can reheat and reuse and then um, other snacks like bananas fruits they give you the energy you need so instead of having like fizzy drinks you can have a fruit and you have you know, a set amount of energy before your next meal um, every woman is different in shape size height the body mass index everything is different in every lady so most clients they have the same questions they come to me what should I do I want to look like you but you have to actually agree on yourself that you are okay to start with and that's where the mental mind and well-being comes in so if you understand that you're okay you just need to look a bit much better for yourself but because you don't have to look like me or any other person you have to look like you yeah and then we can work from that and um, discipline in my book I just mentioned you have to be disciplined and you have to be consistent with your exercises with the way you eat with the uh, with the people you keep around you, you have to have cheerleaders that will help you eat well and, and stay on track. Uh, I think you see me as a very fun mom, uh, maybe because we have where our ages are really, really close. Um, they, they go through the pain I go through. I, I see their pain as well. They see my joy. They, when I wrote my first book and I was like, yes, it's going to print. I showed them first and they jubilated with me. So I'm very approachable and i like to tell them that they can do whatever they want to do so they can come to me talk to me uh, because growing up uh, in nigeria some parents wouldn't like that you know one-on-one -on -one contact with their kids but i'm all giving them kisses and everything because if i don't who will you know so i'll do that now for them and they can grow and when they get older they can give others love I'd say from a very young age, I just learned stress management because I realized that uh, I choose life and life is good. And if you don't spend life with the people you love, then what is it? What are you chasing? So for my busy moments, traveling and everything, when I do have 
the spare time with my husband and make sure it counts so we like plan it and if, if it's called a happy hour it's called a happy hour we just stay together in the hour and we catch up on you know things that would rather do on Skype or on FaceTime um, or I'd make sure we have something called a happy hour just for the family to catch up on, on ourselves and just be normal. Well, that's a very, very interesting question then because my first child is 12 now and last year when they finished primary six and he wanted to go to secondary school i was like okay he's gonna go to boarding school but then when uh, the offer actually came my heart was like oh my god because i've trained him to help me out help me with the remaining two who are 10 and five and i'm thinking how would i just leave him to go but then my parents did leave me and i went to boarding school at the age of 10 but um, I think at some point I will because I think it's character forming it will help you grow help you to stand on your own be able to handle life so at some age I will maybe 14 or so <laughs> six seven years I've been full-time mom I'm still a full-time mom the thing is to have the um, understanding between the other partner because two people can't be full-time mom or dads at home one person has to go out and come back with the bread sometimes the person who is winning the more you know the other person needs to just support that person that's what I've done for the past 13 years I've really really supported my husband to go out there smash the world do whatever he has to do now he's retired it's a bit flipping the other side he's supporting me pushing me like i'm here now you know he says go go you can do it you know um so it's a, it's a balance some some people don't have it any other way they just have to be at home so that the other person can, can go so i think it just depends on the understanding between the two partners if the the man can support the woman at certain points you know in their life then that's awesome <laughs> Well, I'd say you'd start from going to your cupboard and really chucking out anything that you know, <laughs> like <laughs> anything in terms of because what you eat, it just shows straight away. It shows on your face, it shows on your energy levels. And sometimes, you know, you work so, so hard and you're binging on Netflix, you're binging on so many things around you. It's not just about physical exercise. It's just about everything else that goes with being you know in that comfortable situation but you can you can you can still be comfortable but it just limits to the time so what why people actually enlist me to help them is people need accountability you need someone to say to you uh, let me day wake up in the morning 5 30 do your half an hour exercise and go for it so that's my job now you know i have clients that you know i just prompt in the morning and if they don't log in they're wasting their time they're wasting their money so for them to be able to want to enlist somebody or enlist a group of people even if it's somebody you know in your friends or family that is very stern you know the person has to be you have to be accountable to the person so that they will just guide you and then you can you can start <laughs> Yes, you can sign up. You can actually sign up. What what the what the book? What um at the back? What I use for my clients? So I've made it. Um, it's like a guide. Yeah, it's like a guide. So I have all the rules and regulations there. But um, yeah, so that's me. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. No, Friday. No, Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> but then you follow the moves one to six and you're supposed to finish it twice in 30 minutes it is hard i put some of, of them on instagram you see sometimes but um it's really high intensity and you sweat and it's done in half an hour and you finish for the day yeah <laughs> and when you do it you just see that it's, it's okay it's, it's done it keeps your energy levels up and then if you need to top up with going to the gym whatever you can but at least i just call this one ak healthy okay the first thing is the self-love it's actually a chapter in my book you have to love yourself in the morning because that will it's hard to be on a healthy journey it's hard because the world is fast and everybody's going fast 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 no time for slow but if you remember that you're a priority you actually love yourself you never miss breakfast it's the most important meal of the day yeah 
because your body has been you know sleeping all night and the energy has gone down you need to top it up in the morning and then go and then yeah the last thing just stay positive i like i like to stay positive and that will help you uh in your, your journey yeah.